Grand rising, grand arrival, grand return. Peace and blessings to the righteous and repentant alike. I'm Sophia of the Americana Band of Indians, and this is your daily transmutation report where we practice manipulating the incoming rays to the earth in a format that best serves our creator. Today is Sunday, August the 25th, 2024, 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, coming to you from the Sunshine State. We have our sun at 2 degrees of Virgo. We have our moon at 20 degrees of Taurus. We have uh, this square going on. That's a square? Yeah, a square happening between... Oh, the square is between Sedna, which is at one degrees of Gemini, and uh, Vesta and the sun to an extent at two degrees of Virgo. So now we have that kind of square energy going on. We have some other interesting astrological things like uh, Mars is at... 23 degrees of Gemini and that's in a flowing energy to Chiron which is at 23 degrees of Aries so that's um a new sort of energy and we also have a sextile that's going on between Neptune at 29 degrees of Pisces and Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius is getting ready to hit that Pisces. So this is now coming into a sextile energy, especially since both of these planets move very slowly. Uh, if you want a more in-depth um, explanation of any of these astrological influences, please contact your local favorite astrologer who will be able to give you a better explanation of what is happening astrologically. This is just an overview. All right, we're on day 21 of our moon cycle. We have a 20.4 day old moon. This is the last quarter with 59.5% illumination. We have a 1.28 p.m. moon set time and 11.54 p.m. moon rise time. For our, sun, our astro tarography, sun sign decan, we are in eight of cups energy, which is new future, walking away, disillusion, this is a got you card almost like they, they got you to, to walk away from your blessing basically. And you want to transmute this card, this energy by using the eight of coins, which is learning hard work and beginnings. And you can best do this through the lens of the seventh house in Pisces, which is to admit you are no longer in contact with reality because you are not in contact with their reality where you're going to walk away from uh, everything that you've done. You're in contact with, with the reality where all of your blessings return back to you. You want to stay ever so focused on that. For our North Node Decan, we are in Two of Wands energy, which is plans, travel, and new ideas. This is an outside influence card, and you can best transmute this by utilizing the Two of Swords, which is indecision, solutions, and difficulties, which is our intuition card through the lens of the second house in Libra, which is to prefer to work with others and don't want to care for self. So the things that you don't want to do, be honest about that and use your intuition to find, um, you know, people to help you. If you want to work with others to get things done, that's fine. Use your intuition to get people to help you achieve what you're trying to achieve. All right, for our tree of life, yearly progressions and predictions, we are in Mercury energy until September the 11th. This is the Ten of Swords, which is sudden ending, failure, and backstabbing. This can best be transmuted by utilizing the Ten of Wands, which is no perspective, burden, and accomplishment. I'm calling this our tunnel vision card. And you can best do this through the lens of the Ninth House in Gemini, which is to learn how to properly use words and wisdom, know when to talk, Know when to not, um, old saying, know when to hold them, know when to fold them. That's going to best help you navigate this energy at this time. And if you enjoy this type of astrology content, please feel free to join us on YouTube where my handle is 
Sophia Spiritualite. Thank you so much for joining us for today's daily transportation report. Peace and blessings, and we'll see you tomorrow.